Hi, Leslie Kagan here. I wish I could be there in person, but you know, um, an amazing time on my last visit up to your neck of the woods, ice cream and your amazing bookstore, McLean and Aiken, um, which by the way, you'll be able to buy all three of the books I'm going to talk about today. It's an amazing store. And um, it's so funny when you're on book tour, you go to so many, many, many stores across the country. This is more in the olden days when book tours were super huge. Um, and there's only a couple that you'll remember. McLean and Aiken was one of them for me. Great town, great people, great bookstore, great ice cream. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my new book, which will be released on October 6th. It's called Every Now and Then. Uh, this is a galley copy because the real ones haven't come out yet. I think I'll be getting mine in a couple weeks. Um, I love this book. It's just, uh, I, it's so, so dear to me. Um, and I think for a lot of different reasons. It deals with topics that are really, really important to me, like mental illness and um, also racism and friendship. And the story starts out, we meet our three protagonists, Biz, Frankie, and Viv. Uh, it's 1960 in the small town of Summit, Wisconsin, which I call Summit, but is really very much like the town I live in. Um, and I'm hoping that everybody won't get mad, <laughs> which I don't think they will because it's a really fantastic little town. Um, of course, bound by the, the strictures of 1960. Um, the story, every year, the girls have known each other since, they, since birth, really. Um, during the summer, they sleep in a gorgeous Taj Mahal of hideouts, their tree house. <laughs> and they are given ultimate freedom the way we were back in those days to roam the town and spy on people and get into trouble, and which they do. Um, it's both a coming of age and a mystery. Um, I think the real stuff how it starts to, you know, we get gets pretty scary when the girls decide to start spying on the mental patients at the Broadhurst Mental Asylum. Um, it's not the first summer they've done it. They have some friends there, um, but you'll have to read all about that. And I'm really proud too of all the different characters within the, within the story. It's very nostalgic, um, but also it, it astounded me as I wrote this book. It, of course, we're talking about a very long time ago, you know, 60 years. And so, so many things have changed, but in many ways, so few have. Um, I just, I hope you love it. And uh, I like really hope you, <laughs> I have grandchildren to send to college. Okay. Um, the next book that I'm bringing today is Virgil Wander. Leif Anger is one of my favorite writers. And the reason why is because not only does he tell a great story, I think for me with Leif, it's more about his really enchanting writing. I could pick up a book by Leif Anger and read the first paragraph, not knowing who wrote it and say, yep, that's, that's a leaf book, um, a leaf book, I'm sorry. And also too, um, I think this story is, is also about love and hope and in, a, in its own kind of coming of age, just, just older. Um, I think that uh, you should buy it and you should read it. It's fantastic. Um, my next story is This Tender Lamb by William Ken Kruger. I was lucky enough to meet Kent in Milwaukee in an event uh, months and months and months ago. Um, and I really think that this is Kent's best book. I know that's hard to pick after all the books he's written. I loved Ordinary Grace, but there's something about this story that I love. And I think that's because it's also coming of age and it also has a mystery, sort of almost in an interesting way, a thriller kind of aspect to it. Um, four kids, three escape uh, in Indian orphanage, um, and one they bring along, a neighbor girl, and they hit the Gilead River, hoping to meet up with the Mississippi. Uh, in 1932, during the Great Depression, it's a wonderful story. So thank you so much for having me. Please look for these three books. 
Um, these are available now, uh, Kent's book and Leif's, and mine will be there October 6th, every now and then. Thank you so much. Hugs and kisses.